So last night around 10 o'clock, I got a notification on my phone that I received a letter in the mail. Nothing to, you know, nothing to out the ordinary. It happens all the time. Um, and just a little bit of preface, my mail is in a different location. So I can't just like, you know, go get it right then and there. Um, and usually, you know, in the app, I'm able to see like, um, like the front of the letter. I can see who sent it. I can't see inside of it, right? And I saw that it's from one of the insurance companies that I'm paneled with. Um, and I, underneath the kind of the logo, it said it's from the, um, the payments department, right? And I, I still don't know what's in this letter. I have to go pick it up. I'm hoping to do that tonight uh, or tomorrow. Um, but immediately, I thought about an audit, right? Immediately. I have no idea what's in there. So it, it could be an audit. It might not be. But it had me thinking about how quickly I jumped to the thought that I might be audited. And not just the thought about being audited, but an immediate sense of panic came through me, right? And I immediately hop on Google, like, what do I do? What is a, you know, how do audits get delivered to people? Um, you know, best way to go through an audit. Now, mind you, I did all of that panic Googling without even knowing what's inside that envelope. And um, I guess I was thinking just a couple of things as I, um, I'm actually in between lunch and, uh, and my admin work. So I just had some thoughts about it and, and wanted to share. Because uh, I'm, I'm wondering if you guys can relate to this. I think in the therapy community, there's a lot of thoughts about audits, a lot of fear around audits and things, um, a lot of misinformation. A lot of I mean, audits are talked about a lot. Uh, mostly I see people worried about them. And just from my own experience, like getting that envelope, I was immediately panicked, right? Um, and so yeah, it had me thinking about how quick I was how quickly I became panicked as opposed to um, curious, you know, and, and just kind of, I don't know about you, I'm getting constant, rem I set these reminders up for myself and then they beep and buzz all the time, like at the worst time, like during sessions and things. Um, anyway, sorry about that. Um, and yeah, so I, I thought about the fear and just how quickly I jumped to that. And I'm thinking about, you know, you know are they gonna ask for all my medical records? Am I going to have to repay, you know, like months and months of, of, of paid out sessions and things like that? Um, you know, I think that's like the number one fear is like, like an audit is some, some, some like horrible thing that's about to happen. And I know there's horror stories out there, like an audit oftentimes, like, uh, I don't know, often, I don't know if that's, if it's often or not, but from the reading I've done, audits don't happen all that often. Um, and then I, I don't know how much information is out there about like, the outcome of audits all the time. But I have heard horror stories. I've also heard stories where it goes just fine and, and nothing really happens. Um, but I think the underlying thing is that, that initial fear. And I was really bothered that I became that worried and that scared that quickly. Um, I think it's a normal reaction, right? Based off of kind of the horror stories and like that worst case scenario. Um, but personally, I, I didn't like um, yeah, how quickly I was bothered because Who's to say that the audit wouldn't go well? Who's to say that, the, that there's even an audit in that envelope? What if it's just like a standard notice? I, I really don't know. Now, that being said, if I, if I get that letter and it's an audit, I hope to bring you guys along for the journey. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but maybe it's something else. And either way, I'll let you guys know I won't leave you hanging. Um, but, you know, I think in, in some regard, I, I don't want to be always scared of audits. Like, I don't want that to be... Um, you know, this kind of like defining, like I don't want that to be how I make decisions. Now, hear me correctly, I, I, I actually, I read the contract for this insurance company when I got credentialed from front to back, every word, <clears throat> I made sure I understood it, I consulted attorneys, right? So I'm doing everything I can to understand the contracts, to follow the contracts. I have a, um, I make sure that all my templates are, you know, compliant, they're written by a lawyer. So I do my best to really stay in compliance with everything, um, you know, as much as I can. So it's not like I'm like breaking the rules. It's not like I'm doing anything wrong. And even with that, I still got really scared, right? And so there's like a disconnect there. Um, and I don't want to be, yeah, kind of, especially considering I'm following all the guidelines as I should. Um, I don't want to be kind of like, yeah, kind of controlled by that fear of an audit. Um, so after panic Googling, right, and kind of, oh my gosh, what do I do? Um, I started to just take a step back. And number one, I recognized that I, I don't even have all the information and it's probably best to just open that envelope and then go from there. So that's number one. 
And then number two is I started to think about an audit maybe in a different way. Like um, it would be an experience that I could learn from. It would really help me, you know, understand what it means to go through an audit, how to get through an audit. And then maybe I could even help other people if they end up going through an audit themselves. Um, so I thought about it more of like, uh, you know, it could be a learning experience or, you know, how did the audit get triggered? You know, how did this even happen? And even this is kind of projecting into the future, right? And I don't like that. It's like occupying my, um, my, my mental space, right? I have to do admin work. You know, I'm supposed to be, you know, reviewing notes and things like that. And instead, I'm like thinking about an audit. Um, <clears throat> and, and part of me just wanted to be open and honest about that. Um, you know, just like everyone else in private practice, I'm, I'm sure, um, you know, there's things that scare us or, or worry us that can distract us. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I wanted to, first off, I wanted to encourage myself, like, um, not to be so scared about the audit. And that's something I could, you know, I think I could get through. Um, there's a lot of resources out there. Um, there's a lot of, you know, people that can help. Um, and and, I'm, and I, I think I can do it. You know, I've got this far in private practice. I, I think I can get through an audit if that was to happen. Uh, and I think that's the same for you, too. If you're watching this and, you know, you're in private practice, um, you know, then you've come a long way just to get here. Um, you know, definitely we, we don't want to be like, you know, like, uh, oblivious to audits, but let's not, you know, let's not be so controlled by them or so fearful of them. Um, you can do it too. If an audit does come your way, if, if, if that happens to you, I think you can do it. And I just wanted to encourage you in that way. Um, but I also wanted to normalize the fear, like how, oh, it was so quick. I was like, bing, oh my gosh, it's from the insurance company. Oh my gosh, I'm getting audited. Google, Google, Google. Right. And, and lo and behold, I don't even, I don't even, I didn't open the envelope yet. Anyway. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share some of my, my thoughts about this. Um, I don't know. Can you, can you relate to this? Does, does this resonate with you? If, if so, I'd tell me more, tell me more about how you relate to it. If it doesn't, and you're like, Hey, no, like yeah, I've gone through audits before and, and it's totally fine. Or I'm not scared of audits at all. I'd love to know about that too. Um, as you can tell, some of these recent videos, I just made, th this is the third one. Um, they're a lot more just kind of like raw. Um, not really, there's no editing, right? There's no uh, kind of tutorial. Um, but maybe this will become like a, I'd like to make it daily. I don't think I have time for that, but I'd like to make it frequent, multiple times a week. Um, it's not a vlog because, of, yeah, we're not going on like a, a daily adventure. It's vlog-like because it is kind of like behind the scenes. Um, and also, I'm, I was thinking, oh, maybe a daily story, but this is not a story either. This is like real stuff that's happening. Um, oh, the daily nugget, but that's, that, that's really corny. And this is not just a nugget of information. I'm just kind of sharing with you some things that I'm going through in private practice uh, that I think you might be able to relate to or benefit from hearing. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but this is number three, all right? And uh, anyway, I hope you like these kind of videos. If you do, I'll keep making more of them. Um, yeah, uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.